Hello there. So you want to figure out what PFSense is and how you can set it up for yourself. Well look no further, in this video I will explain how it works. First of all you need to grab yourself an old computer. 5 to 10 years old will do. PFSense doesn't have a lot of requirements when it comes to hardware. Just make sure that the hardware that you use doesn't use too much energy, because you want to run it 24-7. I for instance use this old Dell computer. It's now around 10 years old. First of all the CPU. You want to be able to run your PFSense machine 24-7. So make sure that your CPU doesn't use too much energy. Don't go for a quad core but rather a dual core solution. If the amount of energy that your system uses is really important to you I would look for an Atom processor. If you are really interested in all the packages that PFSense has to offer, I suggest you take a look at the PFSense forum or the PFSense website. On the internet there are many videos explaining how to set up PFSense, so I will not cover that in this video. This video is mainly to uh, let you guys know what you need if you want to set up your own PFSense machine, what kind of hardware you need and what kind of things you need to look at. So your PFSense machine has two network interface cards. One of those you need to connect to the modem. The other card you need to connect to your switch. You probably understand that your PFSense machine is into between those two networks. Sometimes it might be necessary to set up your modem in a bridge mode. You want PFSense to run as a router. PFSense is at the heart of your network. Next to being a router it offers many more features such as a DNS server, a firewall solution, an IDS and an IPS system and it even has a VPN capabilities. Since it took me a while to make this video I in the meantime already have a new PFSense system. It has the following specifications. I'm using a dual core AMD 5000 plus processor, it's a dual core solution, it has enough CPU power but it doesn't consume a whole lot of watts, I'm using 60 watts at the moment. Furthermore I have 5 GB of DDR2 RAM in it and I, of course I have a dual port network interface. The processor and the dual core network interface I purchased online they're not easy to get anymore in the stores since um, the processor is now about 7 years old. And DDR2 memory is really difficult to get and if you get it you pay very high prices for them because it's getting more rare and rare. If you are also planning to set up your own PFSense machine I want to warn you because it's sometimes difficult to find old hardware. DDR2 RAM modules and old CPUs like dual core AMDs from 7-8 years ago sometimes it's really difficult to get but thanks to the many communities on the internet it might always be able you might always be able to find what you're looking for. I for instance bought this dual core AMD processor and this dual port NIC card from an online community here in Holland. I haven't measured the energy consumption of my computer yet but I'm guessing it's around 60 watts. So I think I can compare it to just a light bulb uh, burning 24-7. Uh, Hope you find this video useful and if you have more questions leave them below in the comment section. Thanks for watching.